What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to easily find and research Easter ideas for low and no content book publishing. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video I'm going to share with you how to easily find and research Easter ideas for your low content books. Now also there are timestamps down in the description to help you navigate through this video. So on with the video, let's go over to Amazon because what I'm about to share with you is nothing new. This is a real simple method to find niches for Easter books or for any niche for that matter. Now what we're going to do is just use Amazon by itself, type in a search term up the top right here, so let's change this to all, and let's just type in Easter books. Now what this is going to do is pull up all the Easter books on Amazon, and what we want to do is go through the first page, the second page, the third page, and find these niches before we start diving deeper. So like I said, I've typed in Easter books. From here, I'm just going to click enter. Now we can go through the first page and then find those niches. I'm not bothered about the niche score at the minute because I don't want to look for Easter books or I don't want the score to be for Easter books. We just want to look for Easter low content books. Now we're going to go past the sponsored just there. Now from here we can take a look and start opening new tabs. So I'm going to keep going through. We have quite a lot of story books, but I don't actually create story books at the minute. That's something that I do want to do. Right here we have a niche, which is a dot marker book. So I'm going to open this tab. Let's just see how many we can do. We might even be able to find 10 niches. And then I'm going to share with you how to dive deeper to see if they're going to be profitable. So we have one niche just there, that's dot markers. If we keep scrolling through, this is a colouring book. So an Easter colouring book. Let's open that. That is a low content book. Then if we keep scrolling through the rest, keep looking for Easter books. Look at this. This is an Easter joke book. So in fact, let's take this out as well. So that's Easter joke books. Or would you rather? That's another niche. That's four, I believe. Let's keep going. We have an activity book just here. Then what else do we have? I think that's the first page. So on the first page, we have found some niches. This is a color by number. That could possibly be another niche. So let's open that one as well. Then we have another, this is dot markers. So let's open this up in a new tab. Right here, no more there. We have an Easter maze book. So let's open that one as well. We have a puzzle book. Let's open this one. Press the wrong buttons. Let's just go back for a second. And let's just open this one. So this would be Easter puzzles. Now let's keep scrolling. Let's go on to page two. Let's sort this out a little bit. There we go. Now let's scroll through page two to see what we can find. Go past the sponsored. We have one here with an I spy book. So let's open this. Easter colouring book, we already opened one of them. So let's just keep scrolling. Minions, stay clear of something like that for obvious reasons. Let's go back and just keep scrolling. So again, minions, stay away from that because you do not own that IP. That's someone else's copyright. Christian Easter colouring book, we already have colouring book open. I spy Easter again. So let's keep scrolling. Easter, 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 buddy. Word searches, so that's another one. Let's open this up in a new tab. Let's just go through the second page and see what we've got. Book of Buddy Farts, very interesting. An activity book, which does not look like an activity book at all. I'm surprised that's even made sales. Let's keep scrolling. Cut and paste, that's another niche. So let's open that one. We have another Easter coloring book just there. No more there, so let's keep scrolling. Easter facts, so let's open this one as well. Like so, and I think 
that should do. Let's just keep scrolling. Easter colouring book. Happy Easter. So right off the bat, just by looking, by typing in Easter books on Amazon, going through the first page and the second page, we found quite a few niches. Now let's just keep scrolling down to the bottom. Word searches, I think we opened that, but now let's have a look at these. So the first one we have is dot markers, with the niche being obviously dot markers Easter book, or an Easter dot markers book. So this is what we can look for. Now first of all, how many niches do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 niches just from a quick five minute scan of the first page. But now we have 13 niches where we can start diving deeper to see if this is a niche that we'd like to publish a book in. So now what I'd do is use self-publishing titans. Now you can get here by going to selfpublishingtitans.com and what you want to do is download these free extensions. This is the first one that you want, the average, or no, the KDP Research BSR tool. Now I've already got that installed. I'm just going to make sure that that is turned on. Yes, it is. Now we can go back and start researching even more because we have a bunch of niches, but now we want to dive deeper. So for Easter books, we don't want to look at that. So now I'm going to get rid of this. We have all of our niches just here. So now it's just a case of diving deeper. So this would be a Easter dot markers book. Look, there's a colouring book. These are all different niches. So Easter dot markers activity book for kids, ages two plus. So let's just click on one of these. Easter dot markers. Let's click on that one. And now what we can do is let the SPT Chrome extension do its thing and tell us, tell us if it's profitable. Now, while that's doing its thing, let's go through to the other niches. This is Happy Easter Coloring Book for Kids. So this would be an Easter coloring book. Now, right off the bat, we can see lots of different keywords. So if this main keyword doesn't look that great, I'd go through all of these other keywords that make sense to the Easter coloring book to see what score the SPT Chrome extension gives us. Now, for this example, we're just going to go with Easter coloring book. We're going to go on to the next tab, why that does its thing. So this would be an Easter joke book. So let's take this Easter joke book we can see people are searching this top tip if amazon auto populates search terms here when you type in the search bar that means that's what people are searching for so we know people are actually searching for an easter joke book for kids an easter joke book now let's click on one of them we're going to leave that let that do its thing let's move on to the next would you rather so easter would you rather look at that this is what people are actually searching for so let's click on that one we're going to leave that for a second now big easter activity book so this would be an easter activity book it would help if i could spell there we go let's take away the s easter activity book lots of other keywords that we could look at we're just going to click on that first one let's move on to the next so easter color by numbers color by number we can see look people are searching for this so let's click on that one let's let that do its thing let's move on to the next so dot markers i think we did that one didn't we easter coloring book joke book would you rather that's an activity book i don't know why that's gone weird so easter color by number we've done that one easter dot markers dot do that again dot markers activity book so let's click on that one or easter dot markers let's just click on that let's move on to the next so this is easter mazes easter mazes there we go or easter maze books let's do easter maze book there we go let's click on that one let's just go ahead and do a few more of these easter puzzle so easter puzzles let's do that instead Let's click on this first one. Let's move on to the next. So this would be an Easter I spy book. There we go. So let's leave that. Do that Easter I spy. Let's do the last few. That's an Easter word search. 
like so. Let's click on that top one. Let's move on to the next. Easter, cut and paste, or is that cut and paste? It is, so Easter, cut and paste. Let's do workbook, so workbook. Let's click on this one, where is it? Easter, cut and paste, workbook. Then we have one more, so this would be Easter fact, or Easter fact book. There we go. So again, people are searching for it. So what we did on Amazon, we found a bunch of niches. We just typed in Easter book, went through the first page and the second page, and then opened a bunch of new tabs, which were all the new niches. So we had 13 of them. And now we're diving a little bit deeper using SPT's Chrome extension. Now, right off the bat with the scores just here, this is going to change, especially as it gets closer to Easter, because not many sales are going on right now for Easter. You are, or people are still making sales, but the closer it gets to Easter, the more sales that there's going to be. So this number will change quite a lot as it gets closer. Now, right off the bat, the first one, Easter dot markers, doesn't look that great anyway, because it has 5,000 results. Ideally, I do look for books under 5,000. Anything under 3,000 would be even better, and anything under 1,000 would be even better than that. We can see average reviews, only 880. That bestsellers rank is actually pretty good, but those number of results, just that little bit higher than I'd actually like. Sometimes I do go for about 5,000, but it would all depend on the niche. Now, the best way to know if you'd be able to rank on page one for a certain keyword is to come through the first page once you've typed that in. This case is easter.markers and we want to look for people who have published books this year and it's on the first page. So right here, these are all ads. So we're just going to skim past that. Right here, we can see this was published in January 21, March 10th, 2022. So right here, this was only published this month and it's already on the first page for easter dot markers but again it just doesn't really look that great like a great niche so this one i'd probably leave next one let's take a look would be an easter coloring book again those number of results are a little bit high so to combat that what i would probably do is look here in the search bar with related keywords so right here we can see easter coloring book that's the one we clicked on we've got a score of 44 percent so so far this is actually looking pretty good now ideally what they suggest this chrome extension is anything above 60 is great anything or anything above 60 is really great Anything above 50 is pretty good. So 44 could be an okay niche. You'd have to come up with that conclusion by yourself when you do a little bit of research. Now, if we scroll through here, in fact, let's take a look at this. Average reviews, 463. So that's pretty good. We want that really low. Bestsellers rank just over 100,000, which is really good. But again, those number of results, just that little bit higher. If we look on the first page, there's 48 independently published books. Now, if we scroll through, let's go past the sponsored again. And again, you want to look for books that have published in 2022. This one was published February 19th, 2022. But it's Mickey Mouse. Please do not do this. You do not own the rights to Mickey Mouse. But look in here, 2022, 2022. There's books that have been published this year which are on the first page for Easter coloring book. So this could be a pretty good niche. Now, if you want to know how to create coloring pages or coloring books for Easter, then come through and watch this video just here. This is how to create Easter coloring pages the easy way using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll link that video right there right now in the right hand corner. Now back to here, this was for Easter coloring book. So that looks like an okay niche. Again, I would dive deeper into all of these niches. I just want to share with you a really simple way of actually finding these niches. So the score for Easter coloring book book looks pretty good. Then we have Easter joke book. This looks really good. Look at that. That has a score of 58. There's only 613 results. 
There's only an average of 246 reviews. There's nine independently published books, and that bestsellers rank looks pretty good. Now, if we scroll through here, we can check the first page. That was 2018, 2021, 21, 2020, 2021, 2020 on that one, 19, 2020. So, so far, there's no books which have been published this year, which is on the first page, 2020. That one doesn't say it. So this niche is something that I would have to dive deeper into. But come through, check that one out. That's Easter Joke Book. Next one is Easter Would You Rather. Look at that score, 40%. The average results or the results are pretty low with only 752. You can see the data just here looks pretty good. But again, I'd want to go through to make sure that there are books on the first page which were published in 2022. And if we look just here, that's actually an ad, so we're not going to look at that one. 2020, 2021, 2020 again. But look at this, 2022. So this was published this year. Now, on to the next, because we still have quite a few that I want to cover. This one, East Activity Book, looks okay, but look at those number of results. That would be really high. So if I wanted to create an East Activity Book, I'd have to dive even deeper. So with this, we can check out 4 to 8, kids 6 to 12, 2 to 5, toddlers, teens, and so on. Now, what else would I do if I actually wanted to dive deeper into the Easter activity book? Well, I'd take this, I'd go over to Helium, Helium 10, in fact, just here, and I'd use this tool, that is Magnet. That's this one just here. Now, what I can do here is actually plug in this data, Easter activity book, click OK, it's going to give all the other search terms. I just want that broad one. And from here, let's do new search. From here, I can actually look at the search volume or the estimated search volume, and I can see all other related keywords to that keyword. So right here, I could now go through all of these keywords just here. In fact, I'd want to filter this down a little bit. So right here, I'd go to competing products, 5,000. Advanced filters include or show phrases that contain colouring book because I want all the keywords that have colouring book in them which is related to Easter activity book. Now from here, this is just how you dive deeper even more. Now if you want to check out Helium 10, we do have an offer down in the description below where you can get 50% off your first month when you use code STACKINPROFIT50 or 10% off every month when you use Stacking Profit 10. If this is something that you're interested in, click that link down in the description below. Now, if we go back to here, we can see all those keywords which related to my first keyword, which is Easter Activity Book. Now, if we scroll here, we're gonna see all these different types of keywords. Easter Coloring Book for Toddler, Toddlers Again, Lots of great keywords. Now from here, look at that, chip potato colouring book. Never heard of that. This is why I like using Helium 10 because you're going to find a lot of different keywords that you wouldn't have found otherwise. But from here, if I found a keyword that I'd like, I'd look at the data, I'd make sure the competing products are below 5,000. I want that search volume at least above 100 and I want that Magnet IQ score pretty high as well. So from here, we can actually filter through more keywords just by playing with the filters here. Look at that, My, Sand My Sunday Gospel Colouring Book. Who would have thought? But then I can go through, find, we're already going to look at this one anyway, but I can click through and then take a look at that SPT Chrome extension just to find all of the great niches. But that's what I'll do with Helium 10. If we go back to here, that would only be for activity book, just because there's so many different, just because there's so many results, 6,000. So with each activity book, you want to niche down even more. So that's that one. The next one, let's take a look at this. Easter color by number, score 38. Those average results or results is 773. So pretty low. Average reviews, 11. 
bestsellers rank just under a million. There's 18 independently published. This looks like an okay niche. So let's take a look at the next one because we're almost at 20 minutes. This really doesn't look good. That's an Easter dot markers. But again, if you do this, you have lots of different keywords that you can take a look at. Next one is Easter May's book. This looks okay. There's only 654 results. Those reviews, average reviews, looks pretty good, around about the thousand mark. BSR looks okay. K independently published 44 so if I were to create an Easter maze book I just want to make sure that there's books published on the first page which were published this year look at that February 1st 2022 so yes there is now that's Easter maze book now on to the next is Easter puzzles score of 34 5,000 results doesn't really look that good. So again, I could dive deeper, start looking at all of the other keywords, or even use Helium 10 to find even more keywords. Now let's go back to here. That was the next one, which was Easter puzzles. Let's do the last few. This is Easter I Spy Book. Really doesn't look that good, but look at those number of results. Only 107. On to the next, Easter Word Search. So this has a score of 54. So this actually looks like a really great niche. There's 956 results, only 101 average reviews. With that average BSR, a little bit higher than I'd like, but look at those results, 956, and there's independently, or 54, independently published books. So again, I'd like to come through the first page to see if there's books published in 2022. And look, there is. So this is potentially a really great niche, and that's Easter word search. Now, next is Easter cut and paste workbook. Score of 33, but there's only a 1,000 results. Average reviews look good. BSR, a little bit high. Total results looks good. Independently published, 21. So probably this isn't going to be an amazing niche, but again, it all comes down to your own research and what you personally think, because what works for me may not work for you. Now, on to the last one, and that is an Easter fact book. Now, look at this. That score, 61 at the minute. Remember, this does change day by day because more books are published and BSRs are constantly changing. That's why the nearer we get to Easter the more that these numbers are going to change. But right this second, there's a score of 61 for an Easter fact book. And if we look at the results, there's 2,227 reviews. BSR looks pretty good, or the average BSR. Total results, just over a 1,000 with six independently published books. So again, this niche actually looks really really good so come through try this out just type in your seed phrase up the top for this instance it was easter book this can be anything that you want in any type of niche then we went through the first page we found all these niches and then we started diving deeper so again this is just a real simple way of finding niches for low and no content books and around the easter niche now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.